Hello, welcome to Busa TV, SDD Ubit. Today's um, edition, we want to get in touch with the freshest on campus. We want to know how fight has been with them on campus. Some of them came from far. Some have traveled all the way to our Upper West Region for education. We want to find out from them what has been their expectations. How has it been like for them? What have they been doing? Especially, how has the strike affected them so far? There are a couple of freshers we've seen around. We would like to get in touch with them and talk to them one after the other. When they come in, you ask them and you hear from them. Let's see how far it goes with them. Hello, good morning. morning. Can I have a word with you? Yeah. Yes, how are you doing? I'm fine. And guy, big boss. Are you freshers? Yes, we are. What course are you doing? Bachelor of Science, Accounting and Finance. Accounting and Finance. Yeah. What are you Become doing? HRM. Become HRM. Oh, okay. Wh which region are you coming from? I am come from the Greater Accra region. Greater Accra region. Where specifically? Ashaima. Ashaima. Hey, you are Ashaima boy. Big up. Where are you from too? Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Your Costa. You don't like Costa. Eh? How has it been for you so far? What made you choose this school? Why did you come all the way to Wa? You didn't go to Tech, you didn't go to UCC, you didn't go to Legon. What made you come here? Well, I think that, you know, my dad, I'm a native here and my dad insisted that I should choose Yubit. Okay. So, even though I've not been to this region before, this is the first time that I'm here. Okay. And so my dad wants me to come to the northern part and in my hometown to also closer so that I could get to know how the experience is. Oh, okay. So it's not just about, you know, choosing other big schools that this school, it is just about, you know, you coming to experience a new life from a new environment. Okay, so for you, you are coming back to your heritage, you are coming back to your Absolutely. roots. Oh, wow. What about you? What made you choose here? Yeah, I think mine is, my story is also similar to his. You're I also a native here? Yeah, I'm a native here. Okay, so okay. So I came to connect with my extended family. Okay. So it's like, we don't really communicate that much. Oh, okay. We are all, all, uh, all the way in the south and then they are all the way here. So like, oh, just okay. came to connect with them more. Okay, okay. So when you got admission, what was it, what were your expectations? How how was it like for you? What were you expecting to see when you get to this campus? Well, primarily, every student's expectation is to come to school and learn mm -hmm. and uh, get good grades. That is essentially why we are here. Okay. But unfortunately, things haven't gone the way that we expected to do. Oh, okay. To go. Yeah. Okay. Let me hear from you too. Well, I expected facilities, modern facilities. Modern facilities yeah. on this campus. You are not seeing them as such. Not really. Oh, okay, okay. So. So far, you are saying you are expecting to see more facilities. You are, we are here to learn and get good grades and all that. Your expectations haven't been met yet. Absolutely. I want to know how hasn't it been met? What right. happened? Mm -hmm. Right. But before I answer that, I would like to say something briefly. Okay. Um, in general, this year, mm -hmm. the University Teachers Association embarked on a, uh, I wouldn't say a strike, but okay. they had some misunderstanding with government. So okay. um, we came. And during this period was when we, the level 100 students, were admitted. Okay. And so clearly the frustration of a level 100 student who is a new in an area mm. will, be, will be depressing. Okay. And so, yes, it has been really terrible times for us. And we expect that, you know, government expect that actions for both parties to reach in a compromise decision and return back to class. What about you? Um, me. I, it hasn't met up to my expectations because I expected, like I said, facilities like mm -hmm. uh, libraries. You wanted to see a library. Yeah, libraries, and then a lot of classes which will be enough to contain us in our classrooms. Are you saying the classes now do not contain the numbers? No, it doesn't. Oh, and, okay. And the the condition of our lecture hall right now isn't the best. Isn't the best at all. Yeah. So you are disappointed coming. I'm in. very disappointed. But here anyway, what do you have to do? So let's let's take it from this angle. You started by talking about it. You want to know how far. You said the strike action has really affected some of the um, activities of you the level hundreds i want to find out how has it affected you individually as as a person right. yeah thank you for having me on Pusa TV. i'm really grateful um you see it has affected me in diverse ways one the school does not has a traditional hall but it's limited space okay and so some people have resorted to renting a private hostel okay. outside okay right and a private individual ultimately wants to make profit so zero tolerance for you uh, about whether or not you are going to school or not okay and so if you have rented a facility at a private place, of course, in the, in the traditional school, it's safe for you because it's, you know, in the traditional halls, you okay. are there for the entire price. So, so basically, it has affected the rent aspects. Uh, rent aspects. And you know, yes, okay. the rent aspects, and there wouldn't be any consideration for you by the private you know, um, tenant, okay. uh, sorry, uh, landlord. Okay. And so, yes, we have paid rent, we have paid fees, and you know, we've been here for so long, uh, nearly 
it's been the seventh week of this um, ampas with okay. and nothing really is really happening and you can see that it's really disappointing i'm really particularly frustrated of a level 100 students that has been here that have virtually been abandoned you yeah. understand <laughs> yeah <laughs> naturally you, yeah. you feel be abandoned uh, well naturally naturally when you are here mm, <laughs> Naturally, when we are here, you know, we expect that 1100 a fresh student uh -huh. should be treated with so much, you know, love and care. Let's okay. put it this way. Okay. But like how a, would you? Like a fresh baby. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's, and, let's and, 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 hold on. But, but before that, mm -hmm. adding to the infrastructure deficit that the school has, mm -hmm. yes, it's really depressing. And I will entreat government to uh, expect that license and project that they have started executing. Okay. You know, it's moving on a slow pace. Okay. So, how would you feel as an university student, you're sitting in an uncompleted building having lectures? You will come to that aspect my brother how has the strike affected you personally well the strike has affected me and the entire student body in general in the okay. sense that our academic cal calendar is uh, obviously going to be extended okay we came expecting that um lecture and then other academic works will kick start immediately okay. but it's been it's been a month and some weeks now and still counting and we haven't officially started academic works yet okay so it's really frustrating okay. and like with, without these things, like our stay here is useless, okay. but our expenditure and then other stuff are still increasing. They are piling up. Okay, okay. I get the whole point. I didn't get your names. Your name again. Right. I, I, I'm Abdul Razak Idrisu. Abdul Razak Idrisu. A first student of BSc Accounting and Finance. Finance. So your name again. Okay, I'm Rafael Abaluza. Rafael. Abalusa. Abalusa. Okay, we'll keep in touch. Okay. We'll keep in Madame touch. Have an What do you want to say? Madame what do you want to say? Here. You know, there are so many people we have to talk to. What do you want at least to say? let me wrap up. Here. Okay, you know, if you enter, like the okay. person go wrap up and wrap recommend up. solutions for. Okay, wrap up for us. Wrap up for us. Right, so. Oh my God. Hey, everyone, well. you give us pressure. Okay, so we'll move on to the subsequent one. You heard from them. You heard some of the, the, the views they were sharing. Some of them came here to link up to their roots, to get to know their, their extended family members. I used to have different expectations, but things haven't gone so smooth for them, especially with their strike. Let's see the, let's hear from the others too. I can see some students also coming from behind me. Let's hear from them too. Hello, can I have a few words with you? Just a minute. Are you, are you a couple? Oh, no, please. You just met here? Yeah, just friends here? Yeah. Hello, please, can you move the nose mask for me some more? I know COVID is real, but for the sake of the camera, I want to know your face. You know, really? It's small. That's what they are saying, please. For, for the sake of the camera, let's see your face. Hello, you know. oh, don't worry, don't worry. Just, just one minute. You won't die. One minute. One minute. What, what, what course are you doing? Become marketing. Become marketing. Yeah. Oh, okay, what course are you doing? Become HR. Become HR. You are, you are all in SBO. Where are you coming from? Which region are you coming from? Accra, Greater Accra. Greater Accra. Yeah. Where are you coming from too? Ashanti region. I can see you four come from far, all the way from the south. What made you choose SBD, SDU base? What made you come here? Let me start from the lady. Well, me coming here is my elder brother who you? chose here for me. I never knew this school exist. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted to experience life in the northern part of Ghana. Okay. So that motivated me more to be here. I just think it's an opportunity to experience the life here. Oh, okay. You experience the life here. My brother, what, what made you come here? What made you choose? Oh, this it's my auntie who convinced me to come. Maybe she's a lecturer here, yeah. that's okay, why okay, okay. I'm here. That's why so, you are here? Yeah. Okay. okay yeah, how's, how's the system been for you so far in the university? Oh, the system the, is, is cool, it's cool, but it's only the weather that I'm suffering from the weather. The weather is the only one disturbing? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. My sister, how has it been for you so far since you came to the school? Well, the environment is cool, but the weather there is... The weather is worried. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I'm managing. You'll get, you, you'll get used to it. I don't have a choice. You'll get used to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to know, how has the, the strike action affected your stay here so far? How has it been for you so far? Oh, the strike. Oh, it has, it has exhausted all my money, all my, my time, Thank my you. everything. Wow. My sister, how has it affected you too? Well, coming here, I was expecting to be in class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Class is going on. For me to learn something, ever since I came here, I've not learned anything. Even there, I've not learned it. So, it has really affected me. I'm just here wasting resources. Yeah. We'll all get through. You, 
I can see your lectures already in, so hurry up and get to class. We'll, get, we'll talk more later. Okay, so that has been it. We've heard from a couple of students from the School of Business and Law. We've heard about their experiences so far in the university, how things have been for them. Some of them, their expectations haven't been met yet. And we know that things have been tougher for us all. We would like to hear more from them, but due to the schedule here, we would like to postpone it. Keep, keep in touch. Stay tuned to our, our TV. you get to know more from them. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Ubis Booster TV. Like, share and let other, other people to subscribe.